Hi, this is Andy Filippiak in Toronto for the week of May the 1st. In last week's video, I highlighted the problems with Home Capital Group, an alternative lender here in Ontario that had run into problems. Well, in last week's trading, we saw the stock drop 65% in one day as the regulators have finally stepped in and forced the company to take on a $2 billion line of credit to deal with their problems. Equitable Trust, another alternative lender, dropped 37% in sympathy. With the recent rule changes brought in by the provincial government, it's quite possible we may now have seen the peak in Toronto real estate. The inability of lower income borrowers to get loans going forward is a real problem. And this is like the plankton theory that we saw in the US. If the low end can't get financing, then people can't move up and the whole housing market stalls. So this is a real concern going forward that housing may have peaked. I recently did a short write-up showing, and I've included the link on this video, how stocks, bonds, and real estate are all in bubbles. So anybody who lives in the GTA, who's planning on retiring in the next 10 to 15 years, should really be concerned and take stock now. You may never be as rich as you are now, given the extreme valuations in these three asset classes. The real estate situation in Canada, or Toronto specifically, reminds me back to the days of Nortel, when the stock peaked at close to $120, yet very few people sold for a host of reasons. With Toronto real estate prices off the charts, now is the time to consider if you need to look at selling your house for possible retirement income down the road. Thanks for watching.